What is up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video and today we got some fresh news for the Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale game mode. We will be getting two new classes in the Battle Royale game mode. There was a leak on Twitter, I will give you more details in a second but make sure you guys hit the like on that video and before we start subscribe to the channel guys for more Call of Duty Mobile news, gameplay and guides now let's go with the details now the leak came from mr pan account on twitter apparently this guy is a community manager for the hispanic call of duty mobile community and he has access to info i guess on the picture we clearly see eight total classes in battle royale so we have six classes already and you see the two new trickster and airborne so the guy said with the picture that it should be the eight classes we'll get in the final version of Call of Duty Mobile. Now I read a lot of comments on social media. Some guys don't like classes that much. They say it's useless and they like pure battle royale mode. It should be realistic and we shouldn't have that crap. Now some other guys will say, yo, I like the classes. It's battle royale with a twist. I mean, there's so many battle royale games out there. It's fun to have something unique, I guess. So the classes had a little something and it makes you play a different way, right? Now we're going to have eight classes total. There's six already in the game and some of them may be not so popular. I don't know about the zombie one, the, the clown class, but really not my favorite. Guys, leave a comment below. What is your favorite class in Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale? But I have an idea already. By the way, Defender got a buff lately. And I did read the patch notes. But when I played and I saw some guys using Defender. Man, the shield is gonna is gonna flash you for real. And it's really annoying. It just got a little bit better. But I still don't know about that one. Seems like it's just the bots using Defender, right? Anyways, let's get into the two new classes. Trickster and Airborne. Let's start with Trickster. You see on the, the logo, it's a guy in front with two like two copies of the guy in the back. I've read some comments on the Reddit and some guys say there's something similar in other games already. Uh, it looks like you will be able to summon clones of yourself and that one will be really, really good in my opinion in many situations. First of all, I don't know, but if you're going to cross a street and you fear that there will be snipers in the mountains, well, you can run around with your clones around. And if, if they're going to snipe you, I mean, they have to pick the right one and they will reveal their position, right? So it could be a good way to survive when you have to reposition yourself from one point to another when the zones are, are shrinking, right? Uh, another one would be... Like, I mean, you can almost spam that one and always, anytime it's ready, I mean, so if you get hit in the back or something, it's going to be good to stay alive. And even in 1v1 fights, if you spot someone and you want to rush him, well, you can summon your clones and rush him and it's going to help you maybe not take the first hit, right? So I think Trickster could be a very good one. Now let's go with the second one, Airborne. That one does not show much. I mean, the the image, I have no idea what it is, but the little circle, the blue circle, it is pretty clear that it is a wingsuit. So I think that this one will give you an option to launch yourself in the air. And that already also exists in other games and it is very powerful. It will redefine the strategy for the end game. I mean, I don't know if you guys watch some competitive Fortnite, but like competitive Battle Royale is all about staying alive until the final circle. I mean, right now it's pretty easy. It's a bunch of butts everywhere, but we just got the, the brand new rank mode in Battle Royale and the game will get competitive at higher level and it's all going to be played in the final super small circle. And the ability to launch yourself in the air and reposition with that. I mean, the wingsuit, guys, the mobility is insane. I don't know if you ever tried jumping off a big building or a, a mountain, but you can fly pretty good with that. You can reposition yourself easy. And I think it's going to be really good. But again, we don't have any gameplay right now. We just have 
some logos and images also how reliable is this source so far we don't know much he's been posting on twitter a little bit lately uh first post that got noticed was a, a zombies loading screen and it looks legit so i mean i don't know leave a comment below what you think about that but we should see that i guess pretty soon maybe on the next big update but it really says on the final version of battle royale in call of duty mobile so that is pretty interesting i'm really excited for like i said i'm excited for the future of this game guys i think this game is looking really solid right now it's not even finished yet it's not even in global launch yet but it looks stable it looks polished the gameplay is good i cannot wait to see also the zombie mode i'm a big zombies a call of duty zombie fan and definitely looking forward to the addition of zombies in cut mobile but battle royale is really fun right now i like the twist i like the the tag mechanics like you can revive your teammates i like the wingsuit i like the classes not all of them but i like that you can choose a class at the start of the game it's really interesting and uh yeah looking forward to the two new ones leave a comment below which one is your favorite class already in the game and which one of the new ones you like the most so far and we'll see maybe some gameplay later guys so once again thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the short video don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more call of duty news gameplay guides i will be back soon till then watch my other videos take care Terminal is almost ready.